What's up everybody? It's your boy T-Red and let me finish my ice cream sandwich. Man, that was delicious. Much like today's video. Uh, everybody, today we're going to be opening a Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Chaos Box. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I got a brain freeze. <laughs> hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to go ahead and uh, smack the like on this video. But like I said, uh, we are opening the Chaos Box. We have four booster packs, four duelist packs. Usually they're either uh, duelist pack Yugi or Kaiba. And you get a figure hanger. As you see on the back here. Um, I picked this up. There actually is a new Chaos Box um, out. So hopefully maybe by the time this video posts, I'll actually have the new one. Um, but my Walmart did not actually carry it. So if anybody wants to go look, uh, shout out to at PrestonWise5 on Twitter. He actually tweeted me and told me that they released, but I wasn't able to get any. Basically, it's similar to this, um, but it's a red box. So it's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, with that being said, guys, like it's enough talking about something that we don't have. Let's talk about what we got here. So... Let's crack this thing open. This, these are actually a decent deal because you're in eight booster packs for 20 bucks. Uh, that's what these cost, 19.98, I think is the exact number. Um, I mean, that plastic is pretty rough. Here we go. Man, okay. So typically, yeah. let's do the, let's try to do the, the figure first this time. Cause usually I just say the figure for last. I'm hoping we get a Karibo, because I have a Karibo on my uh, keychain, and it's getting a little rough. Oh, look, we got a baby dragon. Last time I <laughs> last time I saw this, I actually had one of these already. I said it looks like a little baby Charizard, which it kind of does. Put that focus in on that. Focus in, baby. Let's focus in on it. Bam, there it is. Check him out. It's actually really cool. But we'll sit him right there if he'll sit. And let's get into these packs, guys. Raging Tempest. Not a great set. Almost everything in this thing has been banned, pretty much. Man, we are not starting out too good. Pinnacle Evolution. Not a great set. Duelist Pack Kaiba. Nice. Get some ultimates, maybe. Duelist Pack Kaiba. Nice. Destiny Soldiers. Man, we are getting kind of screwed. Extreme Force, I'll take that. Kaiba and Kaiba. Not bad. I'm, I'm happy with the dual packs because sometimes they give you Yugi's, which I've already pulled like the Dark Paladin out of the Yugi, so there's not really a whole lot that I want out of the Yugi. However, there's a lot of these ultimates that I, I haven't pulled a single ultimate yet, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I've pulled an ultimate yet. With that being said, guys, let's jump into these packs. I'm going to start with Pinnacle Evolution just because it's probably my least favorite. And we have a Purple Poison Magician. Most of the, I mean, like, the Pinwheel uh, Magicians were pretty good for a while, but I just don't really care for the archetype myself uh, or the Pinwheel Mechanic itself. Uh, so Purple po uh, Poison Magician, Astrograph Sorcerer, Guiding uh, Aradine, Focult's Cannon, and a Perform Battle Skull Corbat Joker. So there's that. Next, let's jump into Destiny Soldiers. Um, there's a couple decent cards in here that are just for like, they're not really Destiny Hero cards. I mean, if we could get like Decider or something, that'd be cool too, but um, just, you know, just because it's nostalgic. Uh, but we have Destiny Hero Plasma, Doomsday Horror, Fires of Doomsday, Destiny and Dragoon, that's a pretty cool card. And an Abyss Script, Rise of the Abyss King. I was hoping we'd get, um, Maybe a, uh, a Lure of Darkness or something, because I know that's in here as well. It's a pretty good card. But Okay, so this Abyss script for all the Abyss actor players out there. Pretty cool artwork on that, kind of like a tunish. Kind of gives you like a tunish vibe. So Rising, uh, uh, Raging Tempest. I don't even know what's good in here anymore. I, it's been so long since I opened this. Mechanical Arc Fiend. Eater of Mains. That's a pretty good common. Zodiac Bunny Blast. Shinobird Salvation, uh, Zodiac Borbo, Subterra Cave Clash, for, well, that was pretty cool, I guess, for Subterrors. Rocket Hand, Apprentice Piper, 
uh, recarbonation. So we got a decent super, I'd say. I think the only I think I know the ice switch was in there, but I think since she got reprinted, she's not very viable here. She's a good card though. I think it's ice belt was in that. All right, guys. Extreme Force. There's some decent cards in Extreme Force. This is probably the, one of the best packs we got here. Signet Refresh, Tendangle Hound, Column Switch. Target one monster in your target one monster in your mo main monster zone. Move that target to another of your main monster zones. Ooh, we got a triple burst dragon for an ultra rare. Nice. Two monsters accept tokens once per turn during the damage step when a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated. Uh, quick effect, you can negate that activation. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing uh, battle damage. During your main phase, except the card, except the turn this card was special summon, you contribute this card. Then target one uh, link to or lower monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Then you can special summon one level four or low, low, level four or lower. <laughs> Dragon monster from your hand. So, pretty decent card. Let's silly this bad boy up. I guess we'll use. Our Imperium Duelist sleeves, so shout out to Imperium Duelist. Uh, you guys know if you guys want to buy anything from them, use our code. And boom, we turned our we turned our Ultra into a Prismatic with the uh, with the uh, holographic sleeves. All right, guys, now we are on to the Kaiba packs. Whew, wish us luck on these guys. I'm hoping to pull an ultimate rare here, guys. I, I don't think we will, but it's worth a shot, right? We have an X head cannon. We got a Y dragon head, magic reflector, enraged battle ox, and a paladin of white dragon. Dude, I've pulled so many of these paladin of white dragons. It seems like every time they troll me with the paladin of white dragon. Here we go. We got the big bad judge man. You know, 2200 attack. Magic Reflector, Z Metal Tank. Oh, we got a Fing Sanctuary for a super. Nice. We'll go ahead and sleeve it up. It's not worth a whole lot. But we'll throw it down a penny sleeve. So there is that. Our rare was cost down, by the way. Two more packs, guys. Two more packs. I think we're going to get trolled here again, guys. I saw blue. I think we're going to get trolled again here with another Paladin of White. Ring of Defense. Magic Reflector. Ancient Lamp. Ooh! Nice, dude. An, an uh, Ultra Rare. And we did get the Paladin of White Dragon, but at least we got an Ultra Rare. So we did get trolled again with that. But, man, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon for an Ultra Rare. We're going to sleeve this thing up in a good sleeve here. Where's my green one at? There we go. I'm gonna use another prismatic. Man, I don't think I pulled a blue eyes ultimate out here. Nice, 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 nice. And of course, like I said, we got that paladin of white dragon again. Alright, guys, last pack here. If you guys have enjoyed this opening so far, make sure you guys show up by dropping a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And we got another ring of defense here. We got another ring of defense. Focus in. Hitatsu Mi Giant. Ancient Lamp. Sagi the Dark Clown. And a Kaiser Seahorse. So, I mean, at least we didn't get Paladin and White Dragon. This card can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a light monster. So, that was always pretty cool back in the day. This actually was the cover art card in the second release of, his, of Kaiba's second deck. This was the holographic card that you got. For anybody who didn't know that. Um, so yeah, overall, dude, this actually wasn't that bad of an opening. I mean, we got two hollows out of our Duelist packs. We got an Ultra Rare out of our four packs. I mean, I, the other ones that you know we were guaranteed hollows. But we got an Ultra Rare out of that pack, which is pretty good. This is probably the best pull out of the regular packs. But overall, man, Blue Eyes Ultimate, even if it ain't worth a whole lot, it's still just a nostalgic pulls. That's cool. So, like I said, guys, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. 
Uh, make sure to uh, check us out in the description down below. Follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and everything down there. Follow us on our Facebook page. Um, and just, you know, support the channel if you guys would. We do really do appreciate it. Uh, we have some pretty cool stuff on Friday. We're going to be opening up um, some old special editions here. we got a Lost Millennium and a Samurai, or Samurai Assault. So that will be coming on you for you guys Friday. And then we have some uh, special videos coming Monday. we got some, so I'm waiting, waiting for it to come in the mail. So stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, though, guys. Um, if you guys have anything you want, any questions you want to ask or anything, hit me up in the comment section down below. And as always, it is your boy T right here from the Konami Crew. I love you guys. I'm out.